But yeah, anyways, like like what I was saying, it's 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 like public transport is just one of those things that it's like I, you ha you appreciate it because you know it's it's a good way to just to get around. But man, it's just there there's just so many things that if if you had the power to change it, ooh. I mean it's you know it's like a public washroom. You it's you're it's glad there. it's there, but you got to deal with some some crap that comes along with it being free. But you know that's just how life is. But I've oh man, there's so many things that I've seen on the TTC that's I've I've never seen before in my life. That's that's more your inst like not instigation your uh your um initiation sorry your initiation to toronto is getting used to yeah you the, take the, the ttc, TTC. and you be able to learn so much about this city i just can't let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being like to you made this mess and left me with the pieces now I want to burn all the bridges between us What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the JNC podcast. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Cloud Thoughts, where like a cloud, our thoughts come and go. Uh, I, like, I still like that. That's clever. No, it's a good slogan. I like it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll because uh, we'll get a like a banner. Yeah, and we'll put. I like that. We'll put specifically for Cloud Thoughts. We'll put yeah. like a cloud, our thoughts come and go. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Um, what were we talking about before? We were talking about TTC. The so bus. TTC public is transport. public yeah. transit here in Toronto. Episode, oh, episode two. Oh, this is episode Cloud two. Thoughts Cloud episode thoughts episode two. Cloud thoughts episode two, guys. Welcome to. Like I said, it's it's literally is a cloud. Our, our just our our. No, our this thought is process the best. Just comes probably, and goes. This yeah. is going to be like the most fun segment we'll have, just because yeah. we can talk about anything. Yep. But, anyways, yeah, we were we were getting into. I've I've always had this. Every time I get on the bus to go de like to to go to school every day or go to school, we're on reading week right now, but um going to school spring break for those of you spring break in the states yeah it's weird we i don't call know. it reading week nobody friggin' reads but comment down below if um if it's th if this isn't youtube or uh soundcloud i guess you can't really do this on itunes but basically just like comment down below if um if you guys get like a break like around this time which is around well we're we're recording this is february 18th so if you guys are on break i just sure assume this is pretty like. early I think yeah. in the U.S. they really do have spring break in end of March. But isn't it two weeks, not one week? It must be. I don't know why they would call it spring break if it wasn't actually in spring. It's not really spring, really. No. Because don't – I don't know. Yeah, anyways. I have to go to um, school in the U.S. to figure all as this out. Like our cloud thought come back in here. So that's slick. Yeah, get back that's on slick. track. Um, we were to go on about like public transport. But yeah, anyways, no, I um, that's that's how I get around because for me, there's no point of having a car because just da parking downtown Toronto is is or parking really anywhere in Toronto is insane. Oh, and they charge you an arm and a leg for that stuff. Right? Yeah, so public transport's really if if you're like me and you're like on OSAP, if you don't know what that is, basically student loans. Um, yeah, shout out to our liberal government. Hey, hey. That was that was that was that was, uh, that was conservative who did that. You mean no, the no, no, no. I'm just talking about OSAP in general. Because in the oh, U.S., yeah, in yeah. the U.S., they do, um, they do A very expensive scholarships. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Because no, here, we no, we have scholarships, but yeah. it's not. We're not dependent on it. Right. In the U.S., they're dependent on scholarships because who's gonna pay full tuition, right? Yeah. So I mean, we do have scholarships here, but it's not our main source of funding for education. We use OSAP. Right. And I'm sure other provinces have their own thing. On but I'm pretty sure that's an introduction of the liberal government. I don't think a conservative government would introduce OSAP. It just doesn't go with their policies. I, I don't know. It's it's what, Ontario Student... Assist, no, un, it's got to be Assistant Plan. Ontu, Ontario Student like Assistant Plan. If it's not plan. that, it is now. <laughs> but anyways, okay, bus, yes. Um, he, first thing that comes to mind every time I take the bus is it's basically riding a like if you're standing up good luck it's like riding a roller coaster without a seatbelt you know what I never <laughs> understood like I get it 
I understand. Okay, I just said, <laughs> you know what I don't understand, and now I say I understand. I get that there's no seatbelts. Right. But yep. is that not a hazard? Because, well, it's a little inconvenient, you know, like st- strap in, you know, figuratively, like like literally, you got to take a strap and put it in every time if you're No, like... I know, but it's it's got to be a hazard. I mean, I'm on the bus and I see so many people fall. Well, because they're only going like 50, maybe 60, no, no, like 40, 50, maybe okay, 60. But, okay, but Ma- that's, if, that's you're, if you are putting no that, if you're putting that comparison to it. Wait, 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 hold up. What, what is 40, for, for our American listeners, what is? Um... 40 is 60. 40 okay. miles is 60 kilometers. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. And, and continue, then 60 then miles is 100. Okay. You can just, yeah. Anyway. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you put that comparison about how you're only driving 60. Mm-hmm. How many times do we actually need a seatbelt when we're driving our car? Pretty much never. Okay. But that's, that's no, a but little, that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's but that's what I'm saying. Different. Think about it. Think about it. You're not the one driving. The seat, the driver always wears a seatbelt. Like they're wearing a seatbelt. If of you're course a bus driver. they're wearing a seatbelt. But yeah. think about if you're doing the comparison of they're only driving 60. And of course, you know, not everybody's always going to fall on the TTC. I've seen it. Oh, yeah. I've seen I've people seen just like people tumble fall forward on a break. Because they don't have anything to secure them. Like, there's <laughs> nothing there. But if yeah. why do we wear seatbelts? It's for that one time where somebody needs it. Because majority of the time, we don't need seatbelts. I, I don't know. But okay. it just to me, it doesn't make sense that there's 60 to 80 people on a bus Maybe not 80 people, maximum 60 people on a bus. Maybe. Great. That's very generous. And then you yeah. have maybe half of those people standing up mm-hmm. or yeah. majority of people standing up and there's nothing to hold them in. I mean, you get into an accident or if somebody slips and falls in the winter time, like it is now, mm-hmm. I mean, somebody can hurt themselves. Well, welcome to Toronto. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like um, there could be some public transport. No, I know it's, it, I I feel like they do take safety into account. Like, let me let me put it like, excuse me. Let me put it this way: like, you, wherever you go, you get like a mixture of drive. I think the driver makes a big, a big difference. So the first, I want to cover the drivers because, it, well, okay, I'll find. I'll, I'll touch upon like no, the, no, no, the, no, the go safety. with the drivers oh. because I have something to no, say. No, no, that's okay. The, but, but to end off what you were saying about safety stuff, I don't know. I mean, you're paying what three twenty five? I think three twenty five Canadian. Three with Presto. Three with okay, three time with Presto, three three time with Presto. I don't know why, but it's a little less. But, um, but uh, and you're putting your life in that person's hands for you know usually fifteen twenty minutes, give or take your bus ride. So to put a have a seatbelt on you, I think it's just a little. I'm not saying there needs to be a seatbelt. I just think that holding on, but to, you know, it's uh, not very practical like it's not very safe at all it's really. not safe no because the second that bus gets into an accident you mean which 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 go, kind of beats beats in which kind of like goes into the whole drive like driver thing with with drive with bus drivers and i'm pretty sure a lot of people can attest to this it's it really is like a lottery kind of thing it's not 50 50 it's more like 60 40 60 percent chance you'll get like a guy who just really doesn't care and just wants to get through his his, his shift yeah and then you know 40 maybe 30 is probably a bit more realistic is the guy who actually like cares like i've had guys where you know i've had a, an 8 a.m class and i'm i gotta commute quite a ways and there'll be what, some guys just really great so, like they're really nice so just be like oh good morning you know and then if i think around christmas oh merry christmas or happy holidays merry christmas I'm like i like you you know you take that little extra minute you make my day i've had a really long trip a little long trip back home i appreciate that then there's other guys they say nothing they'll yell at you for just like um missing 25 cents of the of the thing some guys are really particular about that i've had guys who are just like my my presto car my press uh, presto is in 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 ontario it's, it's a universal in metro pass essentially oh, yeah. what you it just is. you just tap on it like you, you load the card up with money and then you just tap you tap and it takes that off your, yeah, your card and it works in ev- it's like a credit it, card it of. works on every transit system in ontario yeah and yeah. i'm sure there's other ones i know japan they have that for sure that was yeah. way earlier it's, just, it's, a, it's a universal metro pass um but yeah like some some guys, um, like I think my, pre- yeah, that's what I was going to say. My Presto card wasn't working one day and um, the guy's just like, that's okay, man. You get on. I'm like, thank you. I, I, you know what? I appreciate that. I'm having a really stressful morning because I was, I was late for class anyways. So mm-hmm. I appreciate that. But um, so, you know, shout out to all the, the, the drivers out there who just, you know, just take that extra minute. You say good morning. You, you help a brother out, help a brother, sister out now and then. Now for the <laughs> ones who don't, it, like I said earlier, it's literally like, 
playing I, f I feel like for them it's like a mini game it's like let's see how many people we can knock over <laughs> in, in our in our drive honestly <laughs> it's, i don't know crazy. what it is i don't i mean obviously i don't drive yeah a public transit bus yeah. but i have to be honest some of them that drive super fast i love those guys or i love those girls and it's, here's why if you okay? have a seat if you have a seat Oh. I don't even care if I have a seat or not. And here's the reason why. Okay. So I go to school. Mm -hmm. I live on one end. I live on the east end of Toronto. And my I go to school quite literally at the west end border. If yeah. you go one major street west of where my school is, you're in a totally different city. Sure. Yeah. So my bus ride is far. Mm -hmm. It takes me a while to get to school. Yeah. If my bus driver is skipping stop uh, stops, like bus stops, if he's going through yellows just at the bare minimum of when it's legal. Yeah, yeah. If he's driving 75 kilometers an hour, I'm happy because I can get home quicker. Am I putting my, you know, am You're I in a, a less safe situation? You are flying, though. No, I That's get it. And I'm probably in a less safe situation, but I would rather get home quicker and be unsafe then okay. be safe and get home slower okay i i get that but like when when you're at rush hour like i a couple of my classes end at like like rush hour like five mm -hmm. or four thirty five five thirty so like everybody's packed in and yeah. it's a it's a everyone's packed in the bus so when they break you bet that everybody feels it you're just yeah. like you're just like eh, and then yeah. you're all just like flying forward and then you're just like you're just apologizing like every other stop because the guy's just breaking at the very last minute you know i had a, i want to i've always wondered this if you have a full bus considering the size of the wheels and whatnot mm -hmm. and obviously the increase of weight sure is it harder for the bus to break because what i'm thinking is there's so much weight pushing on the ground That's physics man i got no idea i have no clue i didn't study physics if, but you know if you're a physics major or physics dude just Physics Let us know. Follower, is it yeah. easier for the bus to break when there's more people in it because of the the pressure towards the ground? Because there's less resist. Like if you're going the same speed, I feel like there's like I'm just talking. No, but I feel like now, I'm, I'm like it's the I, dumbest I, thing I've ever said in my life because no, I feel no. like the more people in a bus, the harder it would be to break. But for some reason, I have this idea that the more pressure it is toward the ground, it's easier to break. I don't know why I that think that makes sense. I don't but know. I don't know if it does though. Yeah, I, don't I don't know, know if I'm we're, an idiot thinking we're about We're arts that. majors, so <laughs> Yeah. We have views It doesn't matter. <laughs> we have views on things that nobody cares about. Yeah, that's that's what arts majors are. We just talk and, yeah. and be like we're, we draw Expressing stuff. Expressing our inner voices. If you're an arts student, you're offended by this. I'm sorry, but I mean, you know, it's kind of true. We we can say that cuz we're arts majors. I mean, we do we do study cool things, but it's Oh, yeah. It's, no, for sure, but I mean I, I'm going to stop myself before, yeah, before, before I we start regretting stupid. our entire lives and, and become depressed. If we but. ever do, <laughs> if we ever do become big and like someone's just like, remember that time they said on episode two of cloud thoughts, they said that, Ooh, it's going downhill from there. I'll put, <laughs> tweet this on my Twitter. Oh no. I'll make sure people know we talked about art majors like this. Um, but you know, uh, anyways, it's, it's a ride. I, I was going to say it's a ride. That's a terrible pun, but no, <laughs> No, um, but I mean, it, to end off that point, it's. I, don't get me wrong. I pre like I said. I I think I can I can uh, agree with that. Like I appreciate them going fast because it's just that little faster I get there. But man, if a if you're standing up, it it it's like a, it is a mini game for you just to stay standing up yeah. without like having like your backpack smack someone else in the face. You know what? Okay, so this oh, is one me. of the things that kind of ticks me off about the buses, at least in Toronto. Because obviously I don't have experience for anywhere else. But so in Toronto, we have the double buses, which are like the accordions. You know, the accordion buses, how they have the extender oh, in the yeah, middle. Yeah. It's basically two buses. Yeah, I got you. Sorry. I thought you meant like a double decker for a second. No, yeah, I said it. I said it wrong. I should have said accordion from the get go. But we have the accordion buses. Now, here's the thing. The accordion buses, mm -hmm. for some reason, are always on the buses that I don't take. Now, I yeah. don't know. I don't understand yeah, I why mean. that is because I live on two major roads. I live on Be road. Careful now. You don't want to say where you live online. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. But I, 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 live you. On, I, I live on two. Okay, if you guys want to come and, and rob my house, go ahead. But uh, anyway, I live on two major streets. Mm -hmm. So if my street is busy and I only and I have to take the bus, I have to right. take these single buses. 
right, right. So yeah. these single buses get filled quite quickly because it's a busy street mm-hmm. and whatever rush hour time it is. And then you end up standing on the bus and then you get on that position you're talking about. How you're standing on the bus and, you know, it's basically a game. It, it really it's, is. Yeah. Because you, it's like an X game where you have to hold on and, and you know, be the strongest person on the bus. It's not even stable, those things that you hold on to. They're, no, like, they're like little rope things. That no, you, I know. I don't even know what they are. The ones on the buses are horrible. Yeah. The ones on the subways are okay because they're the, the latches. Yes, that yeah. That one's fine. Yeah. But the yeah. ones you hold on the rope... Those ones suck. You basically have to be American Ninja Warrior just to ho- hold on to that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yep. for some reason, they don't have the accordion buses on my street, and it pisses me off. I'm sorry. Especially the other street I live on because that one's so big. It's such a major road. So many people take that. And when I come home from school on rush hour and I got to fit inside of that bus. It's nutty. It's awful. It is. It's terrible. It's, it's like. Is it you could just solve it with an accordion bus, and they put accordion buses on buses that don't even get filled. I see accordion buses drive by, and it, half of it is full. It's like, why are you using the accordion bus for this road, Dufferin? There's a street in I, Toronto called Dufferin. I'm Dufferin a, Street. I'm Dufferin a, Street I, is not busy, okay? But it get it gets the accordion bus. Why? I don't know. I feel Maybe like because they asked for it. I feel like they'd have they'd be. Oh, sorry. No, no, I, I sorry. I know your entire you, setup. You were just talking, went black. and then and then my that was my, the weirdest thing my, ever. My, yeah, my monitor went black, but it just went to sleep. I apologize about that. Sorry, um, but anyways, um, the oh, sorry, what were we talking about? Let's talk oh about yeah, different. Yeah, okay. buses. Um, I feel like that's probably because they have to make a turn, like a major turn or something. Nah, it's, it's my, a lot easier. Dude, but even so, dude, but I still my p- street can fit an accordion bus. I've calculated it every time I'm on the bus. You've calculated? No, it? I'm not even joking. This is what I do. I get on the bus. You're and an I'm art like, student. You're gonna talk about calculating stuff. <laughs> hey man, I uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This I know that the bus can fit. Okay. I've looked at it multiple times Mm -hmm. because i've thought this for two years now since the accordion bus became a thing yeah yeah and the i don't know why they don't have it on my street they should it's annoying it's a shame it really is it's very annoying (laughs) no i'm actually mad i'm sorry like this i need to send a letter to john tory and ask him to put the double the accordion buses on my street he's all right guy He's an alright guy. I don't know. He just seems so. I can never tell whether he's like in in Ontario. We have like we have Canada. Sorry, we have a conservative liberal, which I always get. I'm pretty sure it's sorry Democratic. If you're a Democrat, you're a liberal. Is, that that's what I thought. Okay, yeah. Republican is like equivalent conservative, to conservative. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. So um, yeah, I never I never know never knew it. I think he's conservative. I don't know. No, he's a liberal. He's a liberal. Okay, whatever. But either way, he's 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 an alright guy. He he does okay. Yeah, you know what's I mean, funny? Um, this is an off-topic story, but like there was a there was a I saw a, someone posted like a picture of a raccoon that died like downtown uh, Toronto. Okay, and um, people were just like, oh, like they posted a picture like rest in peace, this like downtown uh, raccoon, and it eventually got to the point where people were posting about it, and then John Tory like added um at the um like three one one, which is basically like the uh. They clean up the streets. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And then they're just like, "Yo, can we get someone to come pick up the <laughs> pick up the raccoon?" Is it was it still there? <laughs> Who's still there? And um, Shit, and then Toronto people City people made like people. a little like memorial for it. <laughs> they took a picture. <laughs> just a raccoon. It was man. great. Um, but, but that's anyways, like you know that's like no. a city meme. I can appreciate. It is. Yeah, that. Yeah, you can. Well, from your hometown, you can appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. There's. Uh, I'm trying to think of. I mean. All the memes that we have in Toronto are, you know, they're pretty much established and kind of. They evolved. You got. You got to be buzz. there to know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, but it's six buzz, really. I mean, do you know that Instagram page? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Six buzz is pretty much. They've started shout out to six buzz. Yeah, shout out to six buzz. Sponsor us. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I think they need a sponsorship more than we do. <laughs> yeah, they've they're, got. They're good though. They're, they're blowing good. up. Yeah, they are. They're but they. I'm gonna be honest. I think six buzz changed, uh, the Canadian culture. I uh, sorry, Canadian culture. I'd say Toronto culture. Is def was definitely changed by Six Buzz, because I think there was a t- a time where we all knew we were from Toronto, but we didn't know there was a specific Torontonian. Way. No, like different parts of Toronto have their own thing. Yeah, but I think that I think that that's so a thing. Six it Buzz, is a thing too. I think that Six Buzz has brought us all to the point where we all act the same now. Way to go, Six Buzz! Bringing communities together and, and but defining it's crazy. each crazy. Think about it though. Everybody acts a certain way now because of Six Buzz. 
and I don't they, know if it's a good thing. Or no, <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing either. But it's it's yeah. amazing how they did that. Yeah, they come. They they brought all the different parts of Toronto together mm-hmm. through the one Instagram page. Everybody sees ourselves through, and not even people in Toronto. Like you go to cities that are around Toronto, like Mississauga, Brampton, Tobacco. Every well, Tobacco is in Toronto. It's a suburb. It's like Scarborough. Yeah, but you'd still. If you said like Oshawa or something like that, you you would. Um, I know it's its own thing, but like, it it's a part of like like Scarborough, for instance, or um, Scarborough is part of Toronto. I know, but like I'm saying, it, it still has its own like kind of slightly like subculture. Like Scarborough has one, downtown Toronto has. No, its own I thing. know what I I know exactly what you're saying, but yeah, what I'm yeah. saying is that every part of Toronto has their own sort of subcultural type. And Six Buzz brought us all together to kind of appreciate yeah. our own, you know, uniqueness in different parts of the city. If that's the way you want to put it. No, sure. I'm giving so much credit to Six Buzz right now. But yeah. yep. I'm talking about cities that aren't even Toronto are also kind of conforming to this Toronto uh, mm-hmm. image because of Six Buzz. You look at Mississauga. You look at Brampton. Saga. Especially Brampton. Saga, yeah. You look at Woodbridge. You look at Vaughn. You all see, th- yeah, you see videos from Brampton. I never would have expected stuff. This stuff you see from Brampton is nutty. You know what happened it's in Brampton? So nutty. Did you hear about? You know the Amber Alert? Yeah. Okay. So was messed up. for anybody who doesn't know, we in, to talk about. You want to keep going with buses? Or you just want to talk about this now? I mean, I kind of want to talk about this now because okay, okay, I yeah, I saw it. something on the news this morning. Yeah. So anyway, for anybody who doesn't know, um, I'm pretty sure Amber Alerts are all over the world. I'm. Fairly certain I they are. I see. I, I have an Android. I didn't get the notification. Maybe it's only an you iPhone. You have an thing. old phone, though. I guess. G four shoutouts. Yeah, it's n- only new phones that have that. Well, sorry. Yeah, Josh, come anyways, on. Anyways, twenty nineteen. Get a twenty nineteen phone. I'm on. I'm on like student loans. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you true. you do your thing. Anyway, sorry. So, we have Amber Alerts that get sent out as like a uh, countrywide or province wide emergency on our phone. I think it's the same kind of system as the one that happened in Hawaii. You know how there was a bomb threat and it turned out it was just an accident from one of the guys who worked at the uh, at the naval. Uh, Can you imagine that conversation? Right? Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Sorry, boss. <laughs> you created widespread panic because you pushed the wrong button? Yeah, I, my bad. Sorry, it's, it's Jimmy. First day on the job. <laughs> So exactly what happened? No, I'm joking. Um, uh, yeah, but it's good. the same system. It's that emergency. You guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, we get yeah. Amber Alerts. And Amber Alert, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this is, but I'm just going to say it in case somebody doesn't. An Amber Alert is a missing child or somebody. A or child, mis- missing person, missing child. No, no, Amber is, is just, just for children. Oh, yeah. Okay. Missing person report would be for a adult. Got it. Okay. But an Amber Alert is for anybody under 18 who is missing. And or kidnapped or whatever the case may be. Yeah, missing. I guess basically. that's still missing. And so we got a notification. I think it was like what four days ago. Was it Friday? Yep, at like twelve. It was eleven thirty at night. Yeah, it, it was, was really late. late. Yeah. So we got this. Uh, we got this notification on our phones. Everybody got it except mm-hmm. for Josh because he doesn't have a new phone. No. But anybody with no, a yeah. new phone. Oh, okay. Shut I'd say geez. from twenty seventeen. Okay, sure. I'm just I'm just roasting you. Yeah, 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 I got you. But uh, so any. Oh, I'm getting a text from my sister. So any uh, any person who had a newer cell phone had um, this notification. And turns out it was a young girl, 11-year-old girl, who was abducted and kidnapped fr- by her own father. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. eventually it was, you know, about 20 minutes after the initial Amber Alert was sent out to everybody, there was another Amber Alert, and it was just saying that they found the girl. Okay, okay. I'm going to stop you right there for a second. Because I um, I heard that, and I had a friend staying over actually that night, and he his um his phone is an iPhone, uh, yeah he has an iPhone uh, seven or eight, and he was like, and I heard it, and I and I went over to look at it because it was you know, we were trying to go to sleep, I was I was trying to go to sleep, and um, I I I oh sorry <laughs> something nutty's going on upstairs. Something's going upstairs. Um, but anyways, um, uh, and then I saw it, and I was like, oh that's great, you know, I or I saw it the next morning, I'm like, oh yeah, that, no sorry no, discard what I said, I. Saw it the next morning. Yeah. Saw it the next morning that they found the girl. I'm like, oh, that's great. They found the girl. i sorry. I'll, I'll let you finish that. Yeah. But. So they sent us a notification 20 minutes after the initial, original Amber Alert that said that the girl was found. Mm-hmm. So everybody goes to bed thinking, oh, cool. And this was at this time at 1130. Um, there were people tweeting 
that they were angry that the Amber Alert was I know, sent off that, at 11.30. How do you do that, honestly? I, I, I get it. Because, it's loud. I because, get it, but come on. Because they didn't know what happened next. Yeah. Well, this is because this yeah. is important. They ate this, this one woman. No, yeah. This is yep. important. Yeah. Because had they had known what happened next, they I guarantee you they would have never sent that. The, no, that they would have never tweeted that. Yeah. And this is why it's important. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, they get we get the notification 20 minutes after the original alert that mm -hmm. she's found and move on. OK. Yeah. Yeah. That's now, what I did. The next really. morning. The next morning is when everybody wakes up and looks at the news to see, mm -hmm. oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. Turns out they definitely found the girl. Except she was dead. Yeah. She was deceased in a home. I don't think it was their I home. I think it was his car. I think. I could be wrong. I thought it was his car. So they were. The father's car. So yeah. wherever they found her, yeah. car, whatever, mm -hmm. she was dead. Yeah. So now everybody who's tweeted the night before stuff like, how dare they send an uh, Amber Alert at 1130 waking up my kids? Specifically, I'm talking about this one girl who tweeted that. I know. That, I saw that, yeah. Which, she, again... People just went off on her. I appreciate that. Because it's like... Yeah, because it's ridiculous. It is. Because you're... you're, you're I get it. It shows the selfishness people have. You're one... Your children... Okay, fine. They had to wake up, but somebody's daughter died. Okay, and now, just to play the devil's advocate, I get it. Like, it's a loud, very loud kind of alarm that goes off. You know, everyone's tired. It was a... It was a Monday night? Tuesday night? No, I think it was Friday or Thursday. Okay, it was Thursday night. People are trying to get through their week. Like, I get it. I get that. But to to have the audacity to, to make a tweet and say, it woke up my kids. And it's like, listen, if that was your child missing, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have said that. I think they said it because they didn't know she died. No, no. If the Amber Alert that was sent out 20 minutes later had mm -hmm. said that she was found deceased, mm -hmm. no. then nobody would have oh, tweeted that. no, no. Nobody yeah. would have tweeted that. But, but it's because um, of the fact that she was – all it said was that she was found. So people are thinking to themselves, oh, my gosh, all my kids are awake, and now I have to put them back to bed. It's 12 o'clock at night. and You got to wake up in like five, six hours. I got to wake up in five hours. I'm – you know, whatever the case may You're be. Grown. Yeah, I know. And, my, yeah. and the girl – it's basically for – you know, all this for nothing. Yeah. Now, anyway, so that was the tweet. But basically – this is what I wanted to talk about, about what I saw in the news. Mm -hmm. So this morning, it's actually interesting because I didn't see this on any Ontario news station. I saw this on a Quebec news station. Mm -hmm. okay. so TVA is a radio, is a TV uh, station in Quebec. And oh, by were, the way, for those of you who don't, who, it, I'm like, I suck with American geography. So I, I don't expect people in America or wherever to get this. But like Ontario, like Ontario is like in the middle, more or less the middle of Canada. And Quebec is like to the right. Of well, of we're like Ontario we're is. like pretty much the almost the right. It's Un it's east of of Ontario. Just to give you some perspective, but anyways, go ahead. okay, Montreal. Yeah. So Toronto, Ontario, Montreal, Quebec. That's yeah. all you guys gotta okay. know. Yeah, okay. And then Vancouver, right. British. Anyways, you continue. You guys don't care about anything else. So, Quebec news station, uh, French news station, up at what like six thirty in the morning watching it. So this is what they reported now. I don't want to say anything because I don't know if it's true or not. All I heard was what I heard on the news, and I didn't hear any Ontario news talk about this. So it could have been total, you know, totally false. I don't know. But this is what I heard. So the f mother actually called the police hmm. at 3.30. So remember how we said that this girl was f killed by her father? Hmm. So the mother of the daughter... Mm -hmm. The wife of the husband called the police at 3.30 in the afternoon. This Amber Alert was sent out at 11.30, and she called the police at 3.30 and told them what happened, how her husband kidnapped her daughter. Yep. And apparently there was also a phone call that the father made to the wife and said, I'm going to – Yeah, I heard – yeah. I'm going to hurt your – I'm going to hurt – our pa daughter paraphrasing but i see he said something along he, he wasn't like mentally in check i think at that no point. yeah he was definitely uh, he had some kind of mental illness. again this this is just what i've heard from the police i don't know this is exact. this is yeah, all so, what we've been so take this so, take what we're saying with a grain of salt so the because... mental so the phone call is from what i'm hearing the phone call was reported here in ontario yeah okay yeah so the phone call is basically the husband calls the wife says i have our daughter i'm going to harm her and i'm going to k kill myself that's what he says. She calls the police immediately, reports everything he just said. Mm -hmm. Re police show up to the house. Now, I don't know whose house this was. Again, I don't know too much about the details of the story. Maybe I should look more into it. But they show up to the house. Mm -hmm. 
and they knock on the door no answer and they knock on the door again no answer and they leave no they left no they left and from they, that and that's from the Quebec uh, and this is from the Quebec news report the police showed okay. up this is at three I four o'clock whatever it is mm-hmm. they knock on the door nobody answers and they just left not our words, by the way. This is not. I again. Uh, this is, the this first is time what I'm was reported by TV, uh, TVA. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. To be honest, I didn't hear this. Yeah. Right. Wasn't reported in, in Ontario. Okay. No Ontario news station reported this. This is just from a Quebec news station. Mm-hmm. They didn't enter the house because they didn't have probable cause, so they didn't have a reason to bust down the door. Now I don't know about you, but in my opinion, if you get a call. With a child's life in danger, you break down that door. I just, I mean, I, I don't care about privacy laws I, at that, here, at yeah, that no, point. No, here's the thing. I think morally all of us can agree, like, if that's kind of the situation, of course. But, like, it's moral, morally versus, like, legally, right? I mean, why? But, no, I, I'm not Why I'm does not it have to be like that? that? But why does the law I, have to be like that? If you look in the well, U.S. Yeah, people prank call all the time and just be like, oh, you know bomb threats people do that on twitch a lot because they they I find know, people's they address swat, and then but, they swat it's but really this is stupid. a serious thing this is a serious situation and they didn't go in the house they could have potentially saved that girl's life had they just gone mind you i don't know how okay i'm not discredit i'm not saying like i discredit the the that source but i mean considering that it's quebec based like they were reporting like it'd be, it'd be interesting to me where they got that fact from yeah, that's why I don't want to. I'm, wanna, I'm not gonna state this as fact. If you know me in real life, you know I'm very skeptical of the news. Like I, it's it's. I won't say why now because that's a whole other. That's a whole I mean, other. We could episode. go on for hours. I mean, even, that's, that's a whole other if you episode. Look at the recent itself. news of in, that's been happening in the U.S. with that yeah, guy yeah. from Empire. I don't know if you heard about that. The actor from Empire, how he staged. Well, allegedly staged. It's nothing has been proven, but all the facts are leading towards he staged a hate crime against him okay well anyway that's that's a whole other story but anyway what i'm what i'm trying to say is like it would be interesting to see where they got that from because that's that's the first time i've ever heard that i did hear that yes that the dude was like apparently uh, supposedly um not like mentally okay yeah or in check and then it led to the series of events the series of events but i mean at the end of the day if you get an amber alert i think we can all take away from this is like if you get an amber alert like I know it's loud. I know it's probably late and you got to get up for work or school. But like, just think, I mean, some people out there are like, well, I don't have kids. Like, and neither do I, thankfully, yet. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, it just just stop and, and check. It really, you know, if, if you did see something, it probably like you could probably save someone's life, you know? Yeah, I I just some people are just really selfish. And this know? is this has been good choice, good moral choices with JNC. Good night. Yeah, thanks yeah. guys. Uh, no. Hit us up on our blog. Uh, uh, we, yeah. we do our uh, monthly seminars too. Uh, visit us. Visit us at. The, we have no uh, kids, YMCA. but we're experts. Yeah. But anyways, I, I think that's that's a, the takeaway from. But yeah, no, it it was really really like it was it was really frustrating to hear that people were like making tweets saying like it woke them up and stuff. It's like guys, come yeah, on, just, Toronto, we're better than this. I, I just I can't believe somebody would even think about tweeting that. And again, the only reason I can think of it is because they didn't tell them that the girl was dead. See, I didn't know that until the next day either. Yeah. To be fair. But, but I would but. still never tweet that. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be so careful what you post because. Well, I mean, how is that? You I mean, you fast. don't even have to. How do you even think twice? It's such a horrible tweet. It's no, it's 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 the thing. Like people like just like they'll. That's why I'm. That's why I'm always super weird. And I should. I I encourage people with this. Like, just be super weary with like mixing your emotions with the internet because that's never a good combination. Yeah, but I I I know exactly what you're saying. But I think that there's a difference between being an emotional or tweeting an emotional tweet. Versus saying something like that, you're yeah. it, it's an amber alert. Some kid's life was in danger. I mean, it's not like you you missed the bus in the morning. Well, I again, I'm just playing the devil's advocate, but that could be like your your alter ego kind of talking. Well, like it's like, oh, I haven't had my morning coffee. I'm kind of like super grumpy and like just had a horrible day. I don't know. I think there's levels. I think people need to realize that. I do think that was too far. Don't get me wrong, but I I yeah I I do understand where people are coming from with being upset but i don't agree with it anyways 
back to what the back to what I started with about the, the bus. Where was I? Oh yeah. But yeah, no, there's been with with the TTC and like with uh, other transit system, it's just the the stuff that you it's just so ghetto sometimes. This is a, another YouTuber t- touched upon this and I, I want to talk about it because it's so true. And I say this as a as a 21 year old, but like young people, like my gosh, why are like some people just so obnoxious? Like there there'll be people who it's like at the end of a long day, you can tell everyone's tired and just mentally done with their like the day. Yeah. And then there's people like just taking their phones and like playing like loud. Usually it's like nine times out of ten it's loud rap music. I hate those people. And it's I like exactly I'm what like, you're talking bro, about. you realize you can go to the dollar store and get like a pair of earphones. Like <laughs> you know <laughs> okay. why would. I just don't it get has, why they do that. I it, think it has to do with asserting their dominance. Oh, asserting their... Oh. I, yeah. But I mean... Why else would you do that? As, why I've seen it. People play their... their they it's, take their It's Bluetooth either that or the, out of their headphones. They just turn up really loud. And which defeats, again, defeats the purpose. They're trying to assert their dominance. They're trying to show that they are listening to cool rap music. It's whatever. I mean, you can do it. I guarantee you, you no one is... Like scared of you, they're just really mad. Yeah, and that's the whole day. that's the hypocrisy in the whole thing. Is that I'm people... not banging on rap music. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's playing any music out loud, like really loud. Well, no hip. Okay, let's be honest. Rap music has a certain narrative to it. It provo- sure. it provokes a certain idea. Sure. If you listen to rap music, you you know you look like a tough guy. Living in the gangsters paradise. That's a really old song. Yeah, not that type of rap music. Oh, okay. But sorry, I'm talking. You know, you listen to Future. You listen to. Uh, you know rap stuff, so. I mean, it's just you listening to that, mm-hmm. and you playing it loud. It's gonna, you know, you're gonna try to provoke a certain idea about yourself. Yeah, I, and I would say the same thing. Like I'm, I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum with that. Like I, I'm more. I, w- I would enjoy like some really like pumping rock, like fast rock as opposed to like some some like heavy rap. Yeah. But either way, it's just like no. I wouldn't yeah, no. I would never play it loud so that other people could hear me. No. But I do so I do understand sometimes when people are you know, you know, some sometimes people are, you know, like they had their long day, they're tired. And then there's others who are just fully energetic because I've been that energetic person. Yeah. And most of the time I'm that energetic person when I have somebody else there with me because I'm Mm. usually never the energetic person when I'm there by myself. I don't, I'm not the type of person to, to do stupid stuff on the TTC or any public transit if I'm there by myself. Mm. But there have been times where I'm busing home with one of my friends and we've had a long day just like everybody else. Yeah. Except we're totally energetic and I don't understand why mm-hmm. maybe it's whatever happened during the day or what we're going to go home and do or something, but everybody else is clearly tired and everybody just wants to go home and they yeah. don't, yeah. you know, and we are being super loud and it's just because we're energetic. And so I, I can kind of understand why some people would do that because you, sometimes you just have energy in you and you know, you can't explain it. But for the people who are intentionally making noises to grab attention to themselves, I mean, I, I mean, I know for a fact that I am not when I'm speaking with my friends, it's not to grab attention. It's just because we have a lot of energy yeah, okay. and we're expressing ourselves in, you know, it might be annoying, but mm-hmm. we're not trying to get attention. The people who are playing music is they're trying to get attention. I, I feel like I just oh, either that or they just really can't wait to get home and, and play music. Instead. No, it's attention. I'm, but no um, way. Uh, I mean, to me, that's on the lower end of the spectrum. Like, I've actually there was a instance where I was going down on the the, on the subway, and uh, there was a guy. I guess he was just really hyped for the gym or whatever. He was like, uh, so I don't know what they have it in other countries, but there's like a look kind of like a little strap that you can hold on to, um, a little strap you can hold on to. It's just just to basically just to when Are you're you standing about on the bus. No, on the on the subway. Is it the one that comes down? No. There, there are ones they do. They still do have ones that are just like a rubber kind of strap. Oh, do, okay. So he was like, he was just taking it and just like, like you know how those like those boxing uh things that like when you hit them they kind of like come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. he was he was hitting it like that, and I'm like, I honestly was really scared. <laughs> I was really scared. I was like, what is he doing? Like I don't know. Maybe he he was playing music and he was just just kind of going off, right? The, uh, was the music out loud? Hmm? Was the music he? No, no, no. Is it? Is it earphones? So I give him that. But okay. I mean, I just like, what are you doing? He's like, I think at one point I could be wrong. But he was like kicking the uh, the side, like he was just ready to fight. 
Yeah, and I'm like you know what, you, you might have you something else thing. in him other than just energy. But um, I mean, I'm not gonna assume anything because I don't want to make assumptions. But you know what happens anyway, if you make assumptions? You make a donkey ass out, out of you. And there, m- I was emotions. not gonna say that, but you, I'll let you. <laughs> I'm but, um, but uh, yeah, no, there's I'm I'm sure like actually that that's a good good thing if. I, I'm sure, like a lot of us, if you're on YouTube by like, watching videos right now, there's a good chance you're you probably take the bus or have taken it. So comment down below if you have like a like a story, because I some of them are actually really funny and really nutty. Um, some of them are, are are actually pretty cool. Some of them are are like cool. Like you had this uh, it was a while ago. I th- I, must, I think it was in New York, because New York is probably a lot crazier than than uh, Toronto is with their transit. Oh yeah, it's they have way more transit than we yeah, do. Yeah. yeah, there was a there was a dude with like a like a little puppet. And he was like, with that puppet, he was like hitting on girls. And I'm like, no, and really? I'm like, yeah, like, unless someone's directly getting annoyed and they look at it, then yeah, you, you stop. Right. But I think that guy knew his limits and he was making people laugh. So, and Did I think film it? it's, yeah, it, it's, okay, up, it's okay, up on okay. YouTube, I think. Um, and I think little stuff like that you can appreciate because it, it just, it takes like a little bit of load off if you're going to work or coming from work or, you know, stress, like a, just being on the, the bus or whatever. Um, so I think there, there is two, there is the, you know, the two ends of the spectrum with that. So, but either way, I'm, I'm not going to fully bag on like public transport because I, without it, I wouldn't get to class or I'd have to like buy a car. I know America's really big on buying cars, but for well, me, they don't it's have just... to pay the insurance that we do in a big city. I mean, even if you go to New York, these people are not buying cars. Why would they? The insurance is going to be expensive as hell. Uh, yeah. Think but, about it. Um, if okay, I pay one hundred and fifty dollars for every month for my insurance, and I'm a secondary driver. So think about if I had my own car. Yeah. That w- and I and I was the primary driver. I mean, it would be paying up to five hundred dollars a month just on it's car not wor- insurance. That's not worth it because it went when you have like a route that you can get downtown with. Um, Let's be honest. Then it's just it just it's just convenience. Having a car I, is convenient. It. It is. It's and not necessary. If you have the money for it, sure. And you have the patience and money for it, sure. It's I mean, convenient. You have to have just as much as uh, patience to take public transport. But, you know. Um, but if you go yeah. to smaller cities, it's no longer convenience. It's a necessity. Yeah. Like because if, they if you don't go outside have, of Toronto. They don't have the public transit that we do. No. it's. I mean, it's farther distance to go. Yeah. Coming in on the, uh, the Viva. I well, I mean, even if you go, I mean, even if you go to smaller cities, I mean, I'm sure they don't have a bus system or a bus map like we do. Mm-hmm. I mean, our bus map is crazy. Every street Not, and their mother well, has a bus. Okay. How well, many buses do we have? That's another thing. Actually, thank you for reminding me. That's another thing. One thing I don't get is, um, you can Google this right away. Like, you can Google this. Um, they never have a clear map for some reason on Google when I've tried to search. But like, just a map of the, uh, just a map of the uh, TTC. Like the, like the subway system, yeah. You can Google it. Is it is really small compared to other countries. Like I've been like when I, I when I had the chance to go to Japan. Oh my gosh, theirs is nutty. Okay, it is huge. And another thing is, they they've made like uh, if you're in Toronto, you you know what I'm saying. Like they've made some like, to me, I think there's there's other um, extensions that need to be made with the TTC. Uh huh. And the one that they made to uh, I think it was York Vaughn Mills York University. Well, it goes all the way up to Vaughn Mills. Okay. Von Mills, York University. I don't get why they did that, to be quite honest with you, because a lot of people, for instance, um, again, this is just more, more people who are, who are in Toronto would understand this, but if you have like something like Don Mills Station, and then you have Scarborough Town Center. They don't have a connection, and it's so it, – well, I know it's on the map. It's it's uh, In real life, it's actually bigger, but like, it's it's so much closer, but you have to – instead, you have to take a bus. Yeah. And if they're – again, like I maybe there's something like this in other, in other countries and in states and other systems and whatnot, but there it's just those little things. It's like there's just – you would think that whoever's in charge of like designing, they would just catch those just little things, right? So here's, here's like, my theory because okay. I've thought about this too. How can a city like Toronto with almost 3 million people have such an awful tr- – subway system because our buses are great but our mm. subway sucks we have four lines in toronto four the old... we have a bigger population than chicago and we have four lines well so it you yeah hear my theory okay so oh sorry i thought that was the, the what I thought that no, was no no the... no i've got a theory okay you all right you okay, go off yeah so this is my theory 
If you look at the bigger cities mm -hmm. in the United States, how long have they been big cities for? I could tell you, but like long, a, long, a long time. Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, a while. Okay, yeah. I think Toronto. Reason being why we don't have a subway system is because we blew up really fast. Okay. I think that Toronto blew up so quick that they didn't have time to plan for a subway map. <laughs> this is my theory, okay? Because <laughs> okay. why else would we have such a small subway system if we couldn't... Like, we could have planned this such a long time ago, but we just blew up way too fast. And they were worrying about other things, like, where's everybody going to live? And... Oh, come on now. But yeah. Why do we have such a good bus system? Our TTC buses, we have, there's over 250 buses in the city. That's okay. amazing. Yeah, sure. Like routes, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, and express buses on top of that. But our subway map has four? There's got to be a reason. I mean, you're telling me that, how did New York dig all those holes? All the tunnels. Right. I don't know, man. That's one of my theories. Legendary. Man. This is what I'm saying. It's because they didn't, they were like, oh, this city blew up too fast. Because even if you look at before, downtown Toronto used to be nothing. I mean, they, my, my parents were telling me how before the CN Tower and before the Sky Dome and all that stuff, there was like nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But if you, that you can't say the same thing about New York because New York has always been that big. For as long as whatever. That's where the refugees came from and all the immigrants that came to New York. But Toronto has just recently blown up. That's the only explanation I can think of. I think in time it will. It's, again, like, I don't know how long the TTC has been going for. You want to Google that real quick? Mm-hmm. Because, okay, and this is just speaking from my experience because I had a chance to go uh, on vacation in Japan. Um, really awesome trip, by the way. Shout-outs to Japan because they uh, – like, when I was um, – man – Cause I'm this, there's, here's this like Toronto kid going all the way over like 13, 14 hour flight, direct flight to Tokyo. And, um, I'm just like, I did not expect the, the transit system to be like, if you take a, just do a, if you're listening, take a, if you have the, if you're able to do a quick search of just like the Tokyo, um, Metro or the, I don't know what it's called, but like the, um, the subway system. So here's the thing. With Japan, from my understanding, they're they're not run like the TTC is. Like it doesn't just have one commissioner; it has multiple commissioners. Mm -hmm. So you can get like you can get like a universal thing, like basically a Presto card, and it'll work on any of the. Um, it's different subway companies. Uh, pretty much. Wow. Yeah, different people built it and stuff. So um, and theirs is massive. It is just, it is so big, and I I think. Uh, Tokyo, I don't even know how many people they have. I know that they have, like, millions and millions of people there in Tokyo. Yeah, it's where Tokyo is one of the – it's, like, 36 million, isn't it? I might be wrong. I feel 41 is is the last number. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I the point is that it has a lot of people, a lot more than Toronto. So when I went there, I was just shocked. And um, uh, I feel oh, like sorry. if you have that so, many people, it has to be that good. Right, and that's, and that's what I mean, like, what you were saying with um, – because – you know, Toronto's underdeveloped. That wouldn't make sense because um, Tokyo is like massive amount of people. So I guess they have to kind of compensate with some sort of intricate subway system. But our subway system is, you know, we may have way less than Tokyo, mm -hmm. but it's, we still, if you go on rush hour, it's mm -hmm. like you have to wait for six trains to go by before you can even walk in one because it's so full. Yeah. It's awful. Well, if you had, you'd have, different you'd have line to find the most like most used routes and then probably make an alternative. Well, it. I mean, downtown. That's where everybody goes. Yeah. I mean, I'm just I, I do agree that they, I think they should like if they could upgrade that. So think about because think about this way, right? All these lines that have come in recently, mm -hmm. Shepard Young. So uh, people who don't live in Toronto, they, they don't know what I'm talking about right now. But basically, the gist of it is. Recently, there have been three lines that are coming in. So we had the um, the Shepherd line, which is – that was like, what, 10 years ago they brought that in? Sure. Then they did the extension to Vaughn Mills, mm -hmm. and now they're doing the Eglinton line. So we have four lines 
right now. Hmm. And in the last 10 years, we've gotten so out of so in two years, we'll have five in total. Mm -hmm. And in the past 12 years, there have been two new lines and one extension. So they're doing a lot of work on the subway recently in like the last 12 years. Half of it has been done. Yeah. So if half of the subway has been made in the past 12 years, then that tells you that overall our subway system is young because if yeah. half, right. I, mean, I, thought, I thought it was a pun. Oh yeah. No, yeah. It, that's okay. That's, I like that. It's like young funny, line. Young, young, the yeah, young line like, is the most, yeah, no, it's good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you have to, you kind of have to assume that, okay. So Basically, what I'm trying to say is because I Googled it and it, the TTC began operation in 1921. 21, okay. Now, does that mean that they did subways back then or does that mean that they did buses? I think it's the Probably buses. Probably buses. Because our bus system is so good. It's it's okay. It's, it is good. No, it's, it's good. amazing, would, Josh. Compared our bus to, system oh. is amazing. We okay. have so many buses. Okay, well, if you're talking about that, then yeah. Sure. Then yeah, it's good. What do you not like about it? I thought, as a I, as a I, I was talking about thing. like quality of. It. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, like maybe the commute itself is not the greatest, but as far as no, a, as but a, the actual buses, sure, I can give you that. They do well. You can get anywhere in yeah. the tr in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. L literally anywhere. Yep. From end point to end point, corner to corner, you can get anywhere. Mm -hmm. I but our subway needs to get better, because that's what people are using now. Yeah. Everybody's got cars. Nobody wants to use the TTC buses because you get stuck in traffic. The subway is supposed to be an escape from traffic. More or less. Because <laughs> you're going underground. <laughs> yeah. And I think, if anything, if you if you increase it, that it, I think it, it'll incur – well, hopefully it would either free up the traffic, like on, like, say, the major highways, or it would uh, – and it would encourage people to carpool. Well, not I say carpool, but, like, take uh, – basically more people on the bus, meaning less people on the road, meaning less – gas emissions going into the atmosphere if our if our you i mean you're absolutely right if our subway system was so good then less people would buy cars debatably yes yeah if i no, because if you if, work if you work downtown toronto yes but if you mean if you're going elsewhere then yeah well i mean what if our subway increase because basically right now our subway only caters to downtown if you think mm -hmm. about it so if you go anywhere else in toronto you have to drive because there's not really you either bus or you drive you can't take the subway. No. If the subway extended to all points of Toronto, I guarantee you there would be a huge drop in cars. Because why would you need to buy a car if you can get anywhere in a decent amount of time, if considering you're talking about, you don't have to deal with traffic? If you're talking about work, just work, then yeah. But if you're talking about like leisure, then people going outside of Toronto to then visit family or whatever. Then just Uber. Just, you'd Uber all the way to like like an hour, like say BAMP. No, I say BAMP as in Alberta. Um no, I, okay, fine. You know what? Like, maybe, if you're okay, going no, to Brampton, no, no. Yeah, for instance. Okay, okay, okay. I see yeah. what you're saying. Okay, fine. But if you mean for ev if if for you're work. commuting to downtown for work, then yeah. Okay, so let me let me say let me say this then because I maybe I was okay. a little bit too extreme. Okay. okay. All right. So yeah, maybe Moving people will. Back. Okay. This this is what, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Okay. So yes. Yeah. The the amount of cars will not drop, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you the amount of traffic will drop because. People will not be using their cars to get to work. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, at least a little bit, I think. Because, yeah. well, first of all, you're not paying for gas. You're not putting kilometers on your or mileage on your car. You're not um, – I mean, I don't really think people care about polluting the air, but for mm -hmm. some people, that's a bonus. If you need to drive to a city, you know, that's not busable mm -hmm. to see family or whatever, that's when you can use your car. But if you're going to work, you're just subway because it's cheaper. You pay $3 every single day. Three dollars. Let's say you work, I don't know, three hundred days out of the year, mm -hmm. or a little less. That's what, three hundred times three, nine hundred dollars. You're basically paying a thousand dollars a year for mm -hmm. a bus. You pay way more than that with cars. Yeah, but then again, it's convenience versus. That's what I'm saying. It's convenience, right? Right. That's because that's the situation we live in. People are choosing convenience over life. <laughs> Yeah, essentially. <laughs> but if it was convenient to take the subway to work, everybody would do it. I guarantee it. Yeah, but I mean, you still have to like get out of your house, walk to like the nearest bus stop. Not everyone has a bus stop close to them. I can contest to that. Like some of them, some of them are a bit of a walk up to like one that doesn't take you to a to like a subway station, for instance. All of them take you to subway stations. Every Eventually, single bus. Eventually, 
but there are but there would be ways you have to like get off this bus go on another bus take down so there is that bit of like if you're be on the, again this is like on the other like suit like this is just being maybe a little lazy but josh is still, just like depends. a professional devil's advocate it, it depends i mean if you if you gotta like get out and it's like if you're in canada yeah excuse me canadian winters where it's like you know you get down to like minus 25 minus 20 with wind chill but then why would you want to drive if it's blowing snow everywhere well it's easier than getting on and getting off a bus where you're packed in with a bunch of people but that's if but then if okay but then if you've got the accordion buses you and wouldn't have com- the and problem. we're coming full circle with the accordion buses i'm telling you man this accordion bus situation is a real problem for my street Legis- legislate's not the right word but like yeah i swear it would be legislature legislate more or encourage more john tory if you ever listen to this Either you're still in, either you're retired and really bored and found us on YouTube or iTunes, whatever, or you, we actually, we actually made it in life and made it on YouTube and, uh, you're yeah. listening. Put the accordion bus on the specific road that I will let you know, because I'm please, not going to give away my location again. Please. And thank you. If you ever want to know where we live, just go to our very first YouTube video on our uh, gaming channel. We give away where we live on that. But, uh, hey. anyway, uh, I digress. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, I think we're gonna try to keep these in hours, so I think that wraps wraps most. Of it. We are, we're at about fifty fifty five minutes right now, so we'll that's wrap pretty it good. Up. It's a what Monday night, so I think we. Yep, and this is reading week, so we're just kind of chilling, not really, because our you our uh, schools yeah. like to dump yeah work on us. So we're gonna but try. I mean, it is what it is. We're yeah, arts, so I can't complain. Yeah, it's definitely. We're, can't complain. we're chilling anyway. It's, yeah. we don't have to wake up or wake up early anyway so no um class so we'll here. try to get a few more this week um we're gonna try to get guests on the show right now we've just been mm-hmm. doing us two um but we're gonna try to get some guests on the show this week uh probably our good friends bruce and boaz um maybe our good friend steven they're now they're they're into uh i always mess this up it's not is it kinesiology? Thank you. That's it. Kinesiology and our other friends in mechanics. So yeah, so we we'll get, get some car talk and some body workout talk. We'll, we'll probably get we'll fun. probably get some really cool conversations going. But uh, we'll we'll be probably recording most likely two more podcasts this week. Maybe we'll try to get three in. Oh yeah, we want to do a we want to do a short. Uh, one of one of the ideas that we want to do a short because I've lived like I've lived in Toronto my entire life, but a lot of the slang that I hear, I have no idea what it means. And it's really funny because every time we we get together and hang out, we do like we we love doing escape rooms. But every time we like get and hang out, like I've when I see like sign, like I have no idea what this means, and everyone's just just laughing. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, we're gonna try to do that uh, sometime this week. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. And that will uh, that will end uh, episode two. We're gonna keep going. Uh, be sure to give some feedback, like, comment, subscribe, all the great stuff. Find us on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And do remember that I'll always say everything we say on the show. I really want to stress that like it is just our opinion. So again, take it with a grain of salt unless we, you know, quote something, go easy on us in the comments, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll, uh, we will see you in episode three and some future videos. Peace.